degrees, we know that we're very low. As a region, as a state, we're pretty, pretty pathetic when you look at us compared to others, and we'll probably talk more than I'm supposed to. Um, but we look at the city of Detroit. This is Detroit. These are college graduates. You see, not too many, right? What see, color hmm? It's a oh. based on the percentage of college persons <coughs> with college degrees. So you see, Oakland County is very high, obviously, and the Rochester, Rochester Hills, West Bloomfield, that whole core. Macomb, more in the north of M59, up in, which is a lot of Oakland County residents who moved over there for bigger housing and less taxes. Um, but you see very low, so you see very light, very low in Detroit with a couple neighborhoods, obviously Palmer Woods, Palmer Park, Indian Village, a couple others, and then the gross points, you see. But look at Detroit. Detroit runs at about 10% college graduates as opposed to a Washington, D.C. with 50%, Seattle with 50 or more percent. Um, cities, you know, we're competing against other cities, and so how do we start to attract people with college degrees? How do we keep them? How do we retain them? How do we actually um, educate them? Um, and so, not just the city and the state as a whole, but really this, this is that whole idea, business has now come where the talent is, this whole idea that, you know, you don't, Businesses don't go to try to recruit talent, they go where talent is, and so how do you start to get the talent coming here so that businesses actually also come? Or do we all turn into entrepreneurs and start our own business? Luckily, it's pretty wild out there, you can start about anything. Um,